G'day everybody. Well, the uh, Tell Equipment D43 oscilloscope's back. I've uh, been having a, quite a few issues with it recently. Uh, the other day I was actually hoping to fire it up with the uh, along with the VSD and actually show you a um, the change in a uh, an AC sine wave on a variable speed drive when it's coupled to a motor. But uh, fortunately, I didn't even get that far because the main capacitor for the high voltage started smoking pretty badly before I even had anything wired to it. Um, I did have gloves on when I removed that because that is guaranteed to be PCBs and I probably shortened my life quite uh, considerably by breathing in the smoke from it which was not um, pleasant. It smelled horrid and uh, I immediately took it outside and just parked it just to uh, let it cool off. But um, I didn't cop too much of it, fortunately, it was just the, the smell from it, but I've just removed that, and uh, as you can see, 0.1 microfarad, 4 kilovolt DC, and then it's also got this little 0.05 microfarad, 2, two kilovolt uh, DC cap, which has been tacked on the side of it, and both of those are driving the, uh, the high voltage for the cathode ray tube, the CRT. Um, Neither of which I can actually get a hold of in a brand new, um, you can't get them like that, proper oil filled style. And I've also come to realise that those and this circuitry is not original to this oscilloscope. Because I found some pictures of the exact same model as this online, and they had something very similar to these aluminium ones in place there. So I'm thinking they've actually had some issues with that in the past, and have subsequently replaced them with those horrible things which is not nice because they are uh, a bit of a risk polychlorinated biphenyl does cause cancer so uh, yeah just be really careful with old equipment that could have those in it um, so of course yeah, the first option is I've got quite a few options that I want to discuss and actually get some uh, ideas from people on what I can do in terms of uh, getting this thing working again. So if I can't then it's pretty much just a, uh, a prop for a film sort of thing because uh, it need, needs high voltage for it to work. Um, first option is to just directly replace those caps. I've got these two microwave caps here. Both of them are 0.9 microfarads at 2000 volt AC. But if I put them in series with each other, I get 0.4 microfarads at 4000 volts AC, which can even be used on DC. These are, uh, it doesn't actually matter with these ones. Um, maybe potentially overdriving the cathode ray tube by 0.3 microfarads, but. Um, Theoretically, it should actually work alright with these in, but I don't really want to put them in just yet in case I uh, end up nuking some uh, really sensitive electronics or worse, blowing the uh, CRT up. So that's option A. Option B is to put rip all that out completely and put an old AC flyback in it with a diode to convert it to DC. And uh, just work out what the pinouts are, what the, what's feeding it, what the voltage is, and then rig something up with one of these, fit that into it, and then drive the EHT with this, which could also potentially work. I've just got to work out what uh, what the feed is. Uh, got two transformers here. They're out of old uh, black and white televisions, and they're in immaculate condition actually for their age. There's nothing wrong with either of these, so. They'll even fit in the gap there, um, but uh, again, working out what to replace that one with is also going to be pretty tricky because um, you can't get caps like that oil filled anymore. I mean, you can still buy them, but I don't want to be putting uh, PCB filled capacitors in something like this. I'd rather just completely eradicate that problem. So it appears that these two up here are actually feeding it. I don't know where that one's coming from, off a balloon or something, maybe off that resistor. I'm not so sure, but there's that one on this red wire here, going into this little board. 
that'll be a diode, that uh, long sort of brownish cylinder there. And then, uh, yeah, that's your, that's your output going to your cap on the CRT. So, it's pretty straightforward, but again, just working out what, um, what I could even replace this with, whether I could even make up a little driver or something. Um, any ideas, thoughts, comments would be greatly appreciated on um, getting this thing going again. Because I do, did have a few exciting things put aside for it, like I mentioned. Um, so yeah, any ideas from anyone, just bang it in the comments and I'll, um, I'd be greatly uh, appreciative of any, uh, any feedback. Thanks for watching.